the middle of July and I done got two five gallon buckets full of beets. I'm gonna start canning them tomorrow. A few more to pick. I'll get enough for long. Once you get your beets back home, you put them in a tub of water and get all the mud off of them. You got to keep turning them around, it'll just kind of wash it off herself. You gotta leave a little bit of stem on them, at least an inch. If you don't, when you cook them, it'll make them turn a pink color. It leaks all of the juice out of the beet and it makes them look bad. So you gotta leave about at least an inch of top on them. You take care of them when you cook them, then you cut all that off. Here it is mid-July on a hot evening. Me and Maggie's out here enjoying the sights, drinking sweet tea. Watching our beets cook. Fixing can them beets up as soon as they get through cooking. Maggie, are you ready for some beets? Maggie, you ready for some beets? Yeah, she likes beets. They'll be ready in a minute. Got them all cooked and boiled till they're tender. And the hide comes off real easy. All you do is just kind of wall it around. Come off just like that, you throw them in your bucket. You get them all like that and you take the hide off of them. Just squirt out real easy. After you get them all skint off, You'll boil them in vinegar and sugar and a few spices if you want. And once you get them boiling, then you take them out and put them in canning jars. Now this is the part Kathy likes to do. But she's filming now. She don't want to do it. Remember me telling you if you cut the tops off your beets and boil them, if they'll turn pink? Well, this is one that got that way. That's what color turns when you cut the tops off of them. So you try to leave them on them when you boil them. After I get the beets peeled out, I'll take and put one cup of vinegar and one cup of sugar until it covers them. And you can put all spice in it. A cinnamon sticks if you want, but I just like them with the vinegar and the sugar. I let them simmer for about 15 minutes, and I put them in jars, and they'll seal, and they'll be good for a long time. Simmer for about 15 minutes. You take them and put them in a prepared fruit jar. Put the beets in first. You get them full of just regular beets. about a half inch of head space on them. That's the way I do them. You can add allspice or cinnamon sticks. This makes a good tasting beet. 
Once you pour them in there, you make sure you don't have nothing on your lid. Get your seals on. Put them on about hand tight. And that's the way I can my pickle beets. I just finished getting them on a jar and that's what they end up looking like. They'll be enough for it to last me a long time. And there'll be some good eating there. Pure country with Ricky Humphrey.